The chip war between the US and China is really about one thing, who controls the future of technology. Everything, AI, 5G, quantum computing, even military defense, depends on semiconductors, and the country that dominates chips will dominate the world. That's why this fight has become so intense. It all started when China realized it was way too dependent on foreign tech. For years, they bought chips from American companies like Intel, Qualcomm, and Nvidia, and they relied on Taiwan's TSMC to manufacture advanced processors. But instead of just playing catch up, China launched a massive initiative called Made in China 2025 to build its own semiconductor industry and reduce reliance on the West. The US saw that as a direct threat. Things escalated fast. In 2018, the Trump administration banned ZTE from buying American chips, nearly killing the company. Then, in 2019, they hit Huawei even harder, blocking it from using advanced processors made by TSMC. That was a huge blow. Huawei was China's tech crown jewel, and suddenly, it couldn't get the chips it needed for its 5G networks and smartphones. That's when the chip war officially started. And this is where Taiwan got caught in the middle. TSMC is the only company in the world that can mass produce the most advanced chips. The US relies on TSMC to keep companies like Apple, Nvidia, and AMD ahead of the game. But China needs TSMC even more, because without it, they can't compete in AI, supercomputing, or even modern military tech. At first, China could still buy chips from Taiwan, but when the US forced TSMC to stop selling to Chinese companies like Huawei, China realized how vulnerable it was. That's why Taiwan suddenly became a geopolitical flashpoint. From China's perspective, if they can't buy TSMC's chips, the only other option is controlling Taiwan itself, which is why military tensions around the island have skyrocketed. 